this stomatal field here this one is the stoma it is another stoma it is another stoma it is another stoma even this one is a stoma in each case the number of subsidiary cells are two s1 s2 s1 s2 s1 s2 s1 s2 even here s1 s2 these two subsidiary cells they meet over the pole of the stomata here also they meet over the pole of the stomata but in this case they did not meet here it is epidermal cell so we may say that in this type of stomata subsidiary cells may or may not meet over the stomatal pole now suppose it is the axis of the stomatal pore this one is the axis of the guard cell and this one is the axis of the subsidiary cell okay one two three three axis one two three these three are parallel to each other that is the axis of the stomatal aperture axis of the guard cells and axis of the subsidiary cells are parallel to each other hence we may say that the stomata are of parasitic type or we may say that parallel cell type in case of the family rubiaceae convolvulaceae and other 103 families that means in total 105 families such kind of stomata are observed so we may conclude that the longitudinal axis over the subsidiary cells lie parallel to that of stomatal pore and guard cells okay hence this kind of arrangement are parallel to each other and the stomata are parasitic and these are the epidermal cells so the figure clearly indicates that guard cells subsidiary cells and stomatal pore are parallel to each other okay thank you